الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بع الله سبحانه وتعالى is the only one worthy of worship and in fact we have to actualize that ibadah we have to actualize our worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by really understanding what it means to have tawheed and ikhlas, sincerity to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that the lordship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is his in his alone he's the supreme creator and that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the only one worthy of worship and all acts of worship all things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is pleased with should be devoted to him subhanahu wa ta'ala and that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has divine names and attributes that he affirms in the Quran and that are affirmed in the authentic sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and that we believe in those divine names and attributes as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned them and affirmed them we affirm them like Allah affirms them if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that he astawa ala al-arsh for example that Allah rose above the, above the throne do we believe Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rose above his throne subhanahu wa ta'ala and that this is a divine sifat a divine characteristics and we don't try to distort the meaning but we believe in the tawheed of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the oneness of Allah the Almighty the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that Allah subhanahu, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran وَمَنْ أَحْسَنَ دِينًا مِنْ مَنْ أَسْلَمَ وَجِهُ لِلَّهِ وَهُوَ مُحْسَنٍ Allah the Almighty says and who whose religion is best or whose whose religion is best than the one who submits himself to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala meaning having sincerity وَهُوَ مُحْسَنٍ he is sincere and he is righteous he is striving to have sincerity to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so all of our worship is devoted to Allah have sincerity when you supplicate especially during this holy month supplicate to Allah don't supplicate to the dead don't go to the graves don't go to the to the statues don't go and, and supplicate to anything besides Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala your shaykh cannot benefit you except for his teaching you to come closer to Allah teaching you how to worship Allah properly through his ilm but we do not go to anyone and supplicate to anyone even the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam we don't supplicate to alayhi salatu wa salam or what would distinguish us between the Christians who supplicate to Jesus alayhi salatu wa salam may peace and blessing be upon Jesus and the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam but we don't worship any of them or Abraham or to the father of us all Adam alayhi salatu wa salam however we worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we want to be free from those things which call us and cause us to worship other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala qala Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala fi kitabihi al-kareem فَمَنْ كَانَ يَرْجُ لِقَاءَ رَبِّهِ فَلْيَعْمَلْ عَمَلًا صَالِحًا وَلَا يُشْرِكْ بِعِبَادَةِ رَبِّهِ أَحَدًا Allah the Almighty says then whoever wants to meet his Lord then do righteous deeds and do not ascribe a partner in worship to his Lord ever do not ascribe anyone anything to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he's the only one worthy of worship he is free from any and all forms of deviant worship understand Tawheed understand who Allah is and how to worship him properly don't go to those people who tell you to distort the image of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to say oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, doesn't have this characteristic and has this characteristic when Allah affirms it for himself وَعِيَاذٍ بِاللَّهِ مِنْ ذَلِكَ So I ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless, bless us to be of those to be of the people of Tawheed Ya Allah, enta Allah, la ilaha ila ant subhanaka inni kuntu min al-zalimeen May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless our brothers and sisters in Syria and our brothers and sisters in Yemen and our brothers and sisters in Somalia and our brothers and sisters in Sudan and our brothers and sisters in Afghanistan with Libya and 
and Iraq and wherever they're being persecuted. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless the people of Ahl Sunnah in Iran where they're being persecuted. May Allah save them and may Allah help them and may Allah guide them and may Allah bless us with ikhlas with the bad ala kitabi wa sunnah wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya Muhammad.